Yo you guys, what is going on? It's Blazendary here. And today in this video, I'm with my family. So say what's up guys. What's up family? Woo. Hey Blaze and Pam. Blaze and We're gonna be going through today. I came back to your guys' house, the parents' house, to do a little sneaker collection for each one of you. My sneaker collection video recently has been picking up and a lot of people have been asking, yo, what about your fam? So I figured it'd be a good idea if we showed my dad's sneaker collection. This would be number two. two. Yes, my brother's sneaker collection. This would be number one. And my mom's sneaker collection. Blaze and Mom here, first sneaker collection. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at Mom's first. <gasps> That's not fair. Why, yours isn't even set up. You want, I know. No, <laughs> you want to go look at what? Okay. So I come here, I'm like, hey guys, you ready at 5.30? Eight o'clock. Let's see where we're let's see where we're at. Hey, at least it looks a little cleaner. I'm sick. I have an excuse to lay there like a lump. Yeah, Leo's sick of making a dent. I mean, we have a like a nice size closet here. What's your favorite pair on this entire rack you have? Oh, that's tough. I can't tell you. It's got to go by category. Nope. What's your favorite? If I had to wear one shoe on an island? For the rest of my life, if I had to wear one sneaker, sh sneaker or sh high heel? Sneaker. If I had to wear an island, I think it's my Swarovski Air Max. It sparkles, it's rare, it's unique, and I feel like it's glamorous. Mother's, Mother's Day. Mother's Day, last year. Mm -hmm. So I'd say these are probably my favorite of all time if I had to choose one. Now, what about the rest of your collection? What is it mostly composed of? So I'm just really, I'm more of a more recent sneaker head, so I'm kind of curating my collection right now. So I get like more one or two really fun pairs a year, I feel like. Well, I think we talked about this in my Hypebeast Mom Guesses video, but I absolutely love the Yeezy Zebras. Like, love, love, love. So much so, I had to get a backup, which uh, they obviously need to be washed because they're a little dirty right now. I got two, but I also have a Feezy, just in case I want to look Yeezy-ish, but I don't want to wear the real ones. In like case if you're going glam camping? Glam camping, this is exactly what I wore. Feezies. And then, of course, I've got an additional pair of Yeezys. I don't know the name on these. The, those are just the all white. Well, they're super, super comfortable, and I just love Yeezys, period, the end. I don't have the statics yet, which I would love. What is it? Is it the boost material? Yeah, it just feels like I'm walking on a cloud. If we're going to talk about sparkles again, you got me the Swarovski Air Max. I got me in Las Vegas a couple years ago the Gucci Sparkles. I absolutely adore my Gucci Sparkle sneakers, and I know that John Carlo has a pair that matches, um, and I kind of love when we wear them together. Ooh, Air Force One with a Sparkle custom swoosh, All Star Weekend. I really don't remember when I got these, but you these got them online. I remember. I did get them online, custom made Vapor Max. These are the Gucci Thanos Johns that you gave me last Christmas. <laughs> What are those? These are the Louis Vuittons that you gave me for Christmas this year. Those are probably like my personal favorite. I would say my favorite would be either the off-white 90s or the Louis Vuittons. You know when you got me these? Yeah, when you did your hype mom video. So when you turned me into a hype beast in New York City, picked these out, it was between this and the Blazers. You know it's a really fun pair? The Katie Ant Pearls, also from All Star Weekend. I get a million compliments on these every time I wear them. I have to say from a comfort level, and from just a style perspective, I love my Air Jordan 1s. Comfort? Yes, I know you say that every time. I have no idea why, but I find these incredibly comfortable. I love them. And finally, Air Force 1s with the stars. My nickname growing up from my family was Star of the World, so I wanted to have these. Got them for myself, these are super cute. Then I also have some Air Maxes. I love the gray and the pink colorway. You got me this for All Star Weekend. Super fun, Charlotte colorway. Do you know what model Kobe that is? Bonus points. The Kobe Schmobies. So today we'll keep it to sneakers, but I do have some fun heels. We could just show off one or two. My Gucci Sparkles, literally, look at the pink on the bottom. Literally one of my all-time favorite high heels. I got these for Mother's Day. Also bought the Christian Louboutins, and I just think this color is so outrageous, uh, which is why I got these, and of course the red bottom. Can't forget the red bottom. And one last pair of high heels in the collection that I adore is my Valentino's got for Christmas from dad. So how do you guys think Blazing Mom's collection fared against all the other Hypebeast moms out there? I noticed you have some uh, Louis Vuitton slides. I've got these Louis Vuitton slides here. My all time favorite slide that I wear almost every day of my entire life is these Louis Vuitton slides. I wear these every single day around the house. They, they were custom made and they have some um, really fun fur inside of it so it makes it super soft. So I love these slides. All 
right, so now we're with Leo. Hi. We're gonna be showing you his collection. Leo, your collection's pretty large, my friend. You know, I had a downsize about 20 pairs over the past two years-ish, but I, I really kept the stuff I really love, so. That's what's important. Let's get into it. So if you had to pick a pair of sneakers without showing the full collection yet, what would it be? TDG Converse. I mean, I look amazing in them, but that's besides the fact. Uh, love the design, wanted these for a very long time. Giancarlo actually got these for my birthday, um, and I, I wear them very frequently. And now it looks like, my friend, you're a big Jordan guy. Nice little thing to see. What would you say is your favorite Jordan, being that your favorite isn't a Jordan? Um, probably my Lance Mountains. I actually got these for my first ever vlog when I was in Memphis Sneaker Com. I didn't actually like when they were fully white. Actually, I, I like the color showing. So I got these. I got these shoes at SOE in 2016, 17. SOE is a sneaker convention, a local one to Charlotte. Love this shoe. I, I didn't like the bulls, the bulls on Broadway, yeah. the BOBs. I wasn't a fan of those, but the Statue of Liberties were a must for me. Next shoe is the Jordan 6 Champagne. I have actually yet to wear these out in public. I wore them once for Instagram photo. I love the glow in the dark feature, love the box. This was actually my one of my first ever grails. So to have them now and try to keep them as nice as possible is uh, it's pretty cool to say. These are the Air Drawer 4 What This, another shoe I wear. These are also my weekly rotation. Um, wear them probably two times a week. Just a nice clean shoe, go well with a bunch of different outfits. Yeah, I love all the multiple different Air Jordan 4 designs on them. And as we take it to another shoe that John Carlo's got me for my birthday, these are the Flame Revenge Storms. Really love these, these are actually my Second favorite Revenge Storm, the first being is a pair I don't have. They're the much rarer white iridescent pair. And the next shoe, these are my Legend Blues. Um, got these in the video with Giancarlo, the Turning My Brother Into a Hype Beast video. Go check that out, just hit 500,000. Yes, sir. Very clean shoe. One of my first pairs of Air Jordan 11s that I ended up really keeping, you'll see the another pair later on. I, I loved them when they came out, didn't have the opportunity to get them, too expensive for me, but now having them, is, uh, it's very cool, I wear them a lot. Giancarlo actually scooped up a pair for, of these for me when we were in London. The next shoe is the Air Jordan 13 Flints. Funny story, these are actually my second pair of Flints. The first pair I had, I sold to the famous uh, TV show Pawn Stars. Sold them to, there at, uh, to an employee for I think 150 bucks. That's exactly what it was. Yeah. Ah, yes, the Belugas. The These I got in Christmas two years ago. I mean, I'll definitely bust them out if the outfit calls. Next are the Species Human Races. Uh, very colorful shoe. You got a pair and I got a pair and we got them at the Sneaker Warehouse video. These are one of my favorites I've given to you. Ah, uh, yes. The Cherry 11s. I remember probably about six months ago, I was working for you. A couple days later, you're like, oh, you did a really good job, blah, blah, blah. Helped me film. And then you got me a pair of Cherry 11s. Power Phases. Next shoe, Power Phases. I bought these at a Sneaker Con in 2017. Favorite pair of Power Phases and the only pair I own. Uh, Yeezy 500s, got these when I was in New York. And I love the OrthoCare sole that's in these. They make them very comfortable. And they ended up actually shooting back up in price. Classic Vans, they have pink checker on the inside. I was gonna wear them to the Giants game, but sadly it was pouring. And if I would've wore these, I would've absolutely trashed them. Next pair of shoes are the LeBron 10 Pure Platinums. These were actually the shoes that got me into sneakers. These and the Toro 4s. Mm -hmm. Next pair of shoes are the Adidas shoes that you guys saw in the thrifting video. I wear these actually every single day, work out in them, casual wear. Just a very, very nice sneaker I, I like to wear. My other Air Jordan 11 high is the 2001 Space Jams. Um, I wore them one time, but they need to be re-glued and a bunch of work needs to be done to them, but I don't feel like doing that and I think it's cool just to say that I have original pair. Air Jordan 1 sales, John Carlo got these for Christmas three years ago. Red checkered vans and the black vans. Got these for $10 online and I got these for retail. Got the Puma court shoes, only wore them for basketball as, as their intended purpose. DB free runs, picked these up at a place called Uptown Cheapskate for $29. Worked out in them quite consistently for about uh, the past year. White cement fours that Vegas has taken the liberty of and absolutely destroying them. Thank you, dog. Thank you, dog. She completely bit off the heel tab. She destroyed the laces. Make sure you guys comment down below what you thought your favorite pair was out of Leo's collection. I'd have to say my favorite pair out of your collection would probably be your fours or your Lance Mountains also. All right, and the last member, we got dad. <laughs> So I'm with my dad in his closet. 
just finished putting it together literally right now. It's never really finished, is it? A continuation of greatness and Vegas. So, the question was, my favorite sneaker. Uh, currently, currently my favorite sneaker would be, oh, I hate to say it, just my favorite, but okay, I'm gonna have to go with this as being the most versatile. And I felt so bad that day, obviously they're nice and dirty, so they are being worn well. Uh, I didn't even know what color they were, and apparently everyone realized how special they were, especially since it has the legit tag, which means that these are official and not scammy. These are pretty, uh, pretty special, and by the way, the way they fit in most outfits, it's a home run. So these are the uh, Air Fage Tans 11s when I'm wearing um, a nice jacket. These are my um, Aquaman 12s. I love these very much. I run really fast on water with these since I'm going super quick. These are my Urban Man 4s chrome uh, air jordan guy on and i like to wear those with black jeans a lot that's black jean special these are the military force from 2006 from 2006 he got me these i believe you got probably most of these <laughs> and so then john carlo if you guys remember from the last video was able to assist me in not getting the old guillotine to the ankle yeah you have to wear them with high socks that's my boy rolling into this pair which john carlo told me early morning that i have to hurry up jump on and get online and we did we got these at 10 a.m that was a fire pick this actually was the pair i had in my head when you kept saying blazing dad blazing dad what's your favorite pair this is actually my favorite uh everyday walkers these are them right here i throw them in the dishwasher to keep them sparkly fresh look what's happening though this is a very sad state of affairs has this happened to your Yeezys? Oh my God! I really like, but no one seems to like these as much as I do. I like them. Uh, I have a pair. Right? I mean, what's wrong with what's wrong with the them? high expensive retail? Why? How much? Two fifty. Point is, how much are they worth now? It's like two hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Vegas did me a favor. One pair I had, and decided to start chewing those completely. They were selling them for eighty dollars. So I went ahead and bought this pair. Okay, and then these, I don't know why I have these. I don't Bobcat even know if I've ever worn them. Was, this is when I was Rookie of the Year in 85. <laughs> uh, so these are another one of my uh, Vegas uh, number twos, I call these. Uh, she took care of these. It's a good air conditioning in the rear heel. So Vegas also happened to get to these, uh, but what she didn't do is destroy anything other than the laces. So I did find a pair of reflective laces. These, uh, I bought these for myself and I- I don't I, think you bought those for yourself. No, you got them for me. Yeah, those are really nice. Thank you for finding them, by the way. Surprisingly enough, you'd think they'd be super comfortable, but I find them not. I walked around doing a fashion show in them and I didn't get very far. So I put them right back. These are my Independence Day uh, 11s. Almost. Independence Day 48s. Oh, these are my, um, uh, these are, what are they called again? These are the ones, but these are, what was that place we went to? They did the thrift shop. Leo showed the thrift challenge shows too. Did he? And right behind your head, you'll notice the bubble jackets. Oh boy. Okay, coming down, we have another pair of uh, Vegas fours. She did a nice job of these. These are the fourth iteration of shoes that she destroyed. Uh, thank you very much, Vegas. Hey, these are Leo. We're gonna try hards. He did a wonderful job of painting this one. Uh, these are the Vegas threes, uh, hence those being the four. These are the ones before she got to shoes in a, a tag stage. Uh, also nice reflective shoes. Uh, these are actually one of my favorites. John Carl even complimented on me when they, they weren't so shitty looking. But lastly, these are actually one of the greatest finds. Uh, again, I bought them super cheap. So you buy boots in the summer. But these, I don't know, just love them. Again, reflective, Jordan, super comfortable, waterproof, they do its thing. Also can't forget the first time I ever restored a pair of sneakers. And then we have the I Love My Father Five. Fives. All right, which got a little dusty because we had a little construction, but I'm gonna polish them up and get them all fresh again. They I love my father status. Dress shoes, nothing really too fab. We have our boys over at Detroit Customs. Are these the walk on water 17s? Oh my God, <laughs> how did you know? I call these my baby J's, my baby J Moses 12s. <laughs> I've never <laughs> seen you wear those. Uh, no, I probably because one day when I decide to go into a rocky terrain and I'm like, let me go not slice my feet up, I'm gonna bring those. But I don't, I don't see why I've worn one of those. I don't even like the water that much to even go in there, so I'd only dip a toe in and then jump right out. I could donate to you. Want to donate, want to donate those to a lucky fan? Hey, lucky fan. Yeah, comment down below if you want to win the five Yo! walk on waters. Blazing Dad, you gotta hit Blazing Dad on IG. You'll sign them. Oh, I will sign them. I'll sign them 
You want to enter the giveaway for the Faj Walk on Waters? Here's what walk you need to do. Walk on Waters! Go ahead, leave a like on this video, drop a comment down below in your Instagram on what your favorite pair of the entire video was, and I will select one of you to win the signed Walk on Water Faj. These are 20-something years old. Really? Like, these are OG OGs. Like, this might be, like, OP is a real brand. And this could really be something special for someone, especially if you're a scuba, walk on water, Steve kind of guy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be live on my Twitch tonight, and I'm going to be live every Sunday and Thursday with gaming channel videos going up every Thursday and Sunday. So be sure to check out the link in the description below. And at the end of this video, I'll post my new gaming channel video right there for you to easily click on. What'd you think of my parents' collection? I had a lot of fun going over there and filming it. Be sure you guys enter the Faj Walk on Water giveaway, and I'll see you very very soon this Sunday with a brand new video. Every Sunday and Thursday we're uploading on Blazendary, the main YouTube channel. It's John Carlo from Blazendary and we're out guys. Have a great rest of your day. Stay positive.